Ujua ile internship nimepiga kabla so after hiyo drama ya first year mm-hmm. ilikuwa Bomas na uh-huh. uh-huh. Drama ya second year ilikuwa Mombasa. Na hiyo time ndio niko internship KBC. Okay so he, he, internship ulianza when? Internship we used to have two internships. One is katikati ingine ni ukimaliza. Mm. So mimi ile the, 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 the time tulienda Mombasa for nationals is the time I was now in the internship ya KBC. Mm. Yoni ya kumalizia malizia. That's like the serious in, internship. Manzi ni menda KBC, manzi kuwa mka asubuhi sawa. I used to kutembea kutoka it's not far. Yeah, it's not kutoka true. South B tunavukia pale Kenya Poli there's a daraja pale railway unaanguka Kenya Poli and then psh, mpaka KBC mm. so we used to trek ilikuwa ilikuwa fit sasa manze unaamka asubuhi unaenda huko alafu by sana umemaliza juu kazi yangu ilikuwa kutranslate news mm. na translate kutoka kizungu kutoka kikuyu for shoro fm natoa newsfuta.com na edit inakuwa inaweza someka kwa radio vitu kama hizo mm. so by sana ushamaliza Junius za sport hazi kuangi mingi mm-hmm. na mko intense kama wa sita. Wasenye wako in charge washawachia. The beauty about KBC is when you go there you in charge. Kama ni camera mse mwenye anafashika camera, ana step aside. Ni gava. Nice. Anasema wewe ndio utanini. Na ile kwenda tusaidia juu sasa unatupoa deep end. Yep, experience. And again KBC kama kuna production house iko na equipment bro. Ni hapo. Even the, some of the best live broadcasters ni hao. Because in terms of nini in terms of experience hours so mm. remember the other guys were literally wa KMC yep yep so over time they have gained experience now so, mekuwa ground eh, so I, i just did that for two weeks two yes <laughs> you miss cast hii mambo ya kwa mkasubu una kasa ane sasa sana mpaka five nafanya wenzangu kwa na rehearse play yenyewe wanaenda kupeleka Mombasa yeah, yeah, yeah. ni baki na sijai enda Mombasa bro hapana uh, bro huko ama Mombasa siku wale ni why enda Mombasa so i i i quit the second week mm. i was like you know what hata sikuambia mdosi ikuende i was like no this is not it e siku anataka eh, ile nini tulikuwa nazunguka ya set books mm-hmm. na pia hii sidhani ni hii mm. eh, sidhani ni ya kuketi sidhani mm. ni hii Remember mimi nataka lorani lorani kalu lorani kalu siku mm. kaa chini mm, mm. So I quit the second week hata sikuambia best yangu anaitwa Jera aliniona tu siendi kwa nini uendi Nimechoka so nikaanza kutulia naenda na rehearsal so, tukaenda Mombasa So now to what's that year So at this time have you said mm-hmm. hii ndio nataka Because because you've quit the internship umeona kwa ground when I'm working yeah. I'm not feeling that joy and passion I'm still looking for ways and means of coming up even with programs. I'm like naweza fanya show kama gani nika journalist but sika journalist. Oh eh. those, and there was nothing that okay there was maybe that one show mm. but there's really nothing on TV. Eh hakukuwa nayo. So nafikiria radio sawa radio ni kali. Actually nilipenda radio ya kwanza. Na ICN radio ilikuwa ina kamfiti sana. But sasa apart from that ni nini nyingine? Kwa hiyo yangu naweza fanya nini different? Mm. Like nileta DJ acheze eh tunaongea kidogo mine was very different wasa wana call ni nini nini so i always thought of doing something yenye sikujua nini nini that's mm. the problem na kwela how, how juu unataka kufanya nini because no one has ever set a precedent you, you don't know nothing about this mm. there's no one in our home ashai kwa media the only mtu alikuwa kwa media kwanza ni nyanyangu wakati alifariki aliweka kwa gazeti <laughs> hakuna mtu alikuwa kwa media so for me naingia and even my dad is very proud kijana wangu anafanya hii mambo ya TV. Hebu kuja uambie. <laughs> He was very proud. Mm. Mave same. Like sasa tukao tukiona kwa TV. Mm. Mm. Akikumbuka nilifanya diploma in journalism ni print. Anyway, they were so proud. <laughs> they were so so proud. Uh, And um, so you go to Costo. How is Costo? Mombasa. Mombasa tumeenda na. Any nationals? Na show. Pia kwa tulienda So by the time you're going to nationals lazima mm. uqualify all the way. Mm. Si ati unaanza nationals. Yes, 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 yes. But sisi ni nani? Tuko tumetandika watu mpaka wakati. So by the time nafika huko hata sinyi ni maseleb. Hadi ule haba kuk, haba kuk niaje. So this time uko na nini? Ngoja ni mtaona. Mnaacha pia show. Mombasa being the first time it was. So the so, so, already had a name. Ulikuwa na jina already. Yeah ilikuwa nika but ilikuwa underground Bank underground uh, underground ya yeah, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, exactly eh yeah, so eh hey, habaku so tukachapa so by the time tunamaliza hiyo uh, we are doing the, 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 the nationals in Mombasa that's it for me because now after hapo shule na maliza after mm. the second year the third year kuwa na mambo mob you that year largely one internship mm. 
So Dadia like what? So mulishinda? Of course bro. <laughs> Zile trophies tuliacha huko. Again we took it. Tulikuwa lazima tungeshinda. Ju mm-hmm. ilikuwa I told you it's like a cult. Watu walikuwa na lala sana nane juu ya drama. Unapiga huwa na sasa hiyo na lala sana nane hata una food. <laughs> Ndio nimaliza 1500 ulitumiwa. Na ndarehe 19 unaogopa kupigia mzaimu mwangia kutumia kitu. So towards sasa kumalizia shule uh, something happened. Um naenda kuklia shule kila mtu wako na hopes. Kila mtu wako hapo a lot of people do it's it's how do I put it? Journalism and let's say for example TV production it's not it's not something you just think of. Ah mimi nikiwa mkubwa nataka kufanya TV production. Mm-hmm. You must have seen it somewhere. Someone you know is doing it. Mm, na connections. Eh, mm. Like kwa architect umeona msia kijenga. Lazima you've seen that from someone to want to be able to do that. Mm. Because growing up we didn't know is we didn't know walk on a TV ya ujui kuna watu nyuma hiyo TV. Mm-hmm. So unless now you have someone who knows what goes behind huko ndio atakwambia ah usifanye hiyo fanya editing in a market usifanye hiyo fanya nini. Mm. So a lot of people had people in high places. Mm me only had high people <laughs> <laughs> so unasikia mkimaliza hapa mimi napelekwa wapi so mimi nikimaliza hapa kuna mali napelekwa my dad hata hajui how these things work you see sasa hey auntie siju yangu atanipeleka wapi and some of them even after second year they never came back to nini as in mtu alikuwa anapata job the beauty of came sinayo guys used to get job wakiwa wanasoma mm. unasikia mtu alikuwa regular class ame change to evening program sababu sasa job yake ni mchana mm. anapiga wax at some of us are going to school to to to, to work so let's not bring classes mchana hey wewe well, uko hapo hata hujui mbele wala nyumba maisha yako yote umekuwa ukiact hapo na kuzoma kitu hata haiku kupeleka shule yes very because i think for me the greatest fear i have is failure mzae mla mzae aliyeacha bila kitu Uh-huh. Alafu ukuja hapa umeact umefanya alafu uende tu nyumbani hivyo bro. Hapana, hapana. Na utoke na mrembo hapana. So it had to work. Something had to work. So towards kumaliza like one semester before nimalize, I got a phone call. Nikailenga, nikaona namba 072 nikalenga. Then I nikakaka nikaangalia inbox yangu ya FB. Mm. Abel Mutua Bro, Mutua, this is my number call me there's a program we started called Hapakula News I don't want to feature you there bro bro I'm like Abel Mutua ni nani Jumisi kwa namjua Abel Mutua mimi namjua Freddy 